Castlevania 1 is incredible. Castlevania 3 is quite good. I never cared much for... I don't even remember the name of the Genesis one. Or Super Castlevania 4. I never gave that much of a shit about either of those. Castlevania 3 is really hard. Rondo is basically perfect. Symphony of the Night is basically perfect. Um... What else? I like all 3DS games a lot. And also Arya. I like the DS games more the later they came out. Order of Ecclesia is my favorite. And then Portrait. And then Dawn of Sorrow. Dawn of Sorrow should be the best one. Ah. Ooh, no, <laughs> he went for the car throw punish. That would have been good, actually. That would have got Yang in the corner. But he missed the car throw. If Q can't get a close forward, his punishes are usually pretty iffy. If he's got a raw super, he can use that. And if he's got enough time for a command grab, he can use that. But oftentimes he won't have those. Whenever I see people talk about Order of Ecclesia, they always talk about the linearity. I think it's got really fun boss fights. I don't really mind the linearity at all. It is kind of weird that they locked fucking... Um, they locked Dracula's castle behind the good end. It's such a huge like component of the game, you know what I mean? I wonder how many people missed it. It's actually enormous. It's like five or six levels worth of fucking maps. More than that. And unless you save all the villagers, some of which are incredibly well hidden, you can't go there. The game just ends. That's a really weird place to put a good end and a bad end. No. I wouldn't say it's super hard. If anything, I think it's really fair. It has very little bullshit, I feel. I think there's actually like a good, fun challenge to beating the bosses without taking damage. And the game acknowledges when you do, which is cool. The game plays a lot like Arya, but maybe perhaps a little bit watered down from Arya. But I, the soul collecting was simultaneously fun and shitty in the Souls, Souls games. In the Sorrow games. Nice red. He didn't even need that, I don't think. He might have. I think Q's usually use the light hands versus twins, and that's pretty safe. Oh, there was a juggle there. Sand strong, maybe. I think. He didn't see it in time. Or maybe he saw it too soon and just hit the button before he regained control. Probably could have super punished that. It's scary super punishing because you don't have auto block in this game. So if he does like a third Rekka on your attempted super motion, you'll get hit. But I'm pretty sure second Rekka can be punished with Q super 2. Oh no! Yang is actually halfway decent at dizzying you. But usually only begets an EX Rekka. 
That was just a bunch of peer pressure. Almost no characters can cross up Oro in the corner, but Twin Dive Kick will. It was funny seeing Twin Dive Kick just fail the cross up uh, Q. That's one of the best light corner cross ups in the game in terms of the characters it works on. But not Q. I don't know if there's anyone in the whole game who can jump over Q when he's in the corner. Uh, it's just the worst. When you pair your Rekka and you don't know what you can do. Look how long the confirm time is for EX Rekka. He got the first one, he like waited an hour and then he did the rest of them. Just let me jump and whip things. I don't even need a whip. It could be anything. Nice. See how he parried again? He did two parries and he went for a third one. And because of that, his punish was awkward. It's things like that that make Yang the safest character. It's not even just that all of his attacks are safe on block. I shouldn't say all, but like, you know, the ones he uses. But it's the even if you get a parry on them, it can be a it's a it's a mix up on which how to parry it, and then it's a mix up once you get the parry on like how to punish. Today I will low forward Rekka. A plus post. That's Yang players. Except some days it's today I will stand strong Rekka. Oh, that kind of too modern. I don't know anything about Bloodstain. I was thinking it was like a set in the modern day, and then I was thinking about Arya, which is set in modern day Japan. <laughs> I think Ari is a great game, but that is such a bad fucking decision, I feel. They ended up making it work. But it's like, Christ, what are you doing? This is the opposite of what Castlevania is supposed to stand for. Nice. But how much does it help? Oh, he just did it again. Ken, no respect. Mario 64 gave you a free one-up every time you lost to the final boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a trope for that. I think it's called 15 minutes into the future. It's when something's set in the future, but it's like barely in the future. So you can tell that it's in the future, but you don't really... You can tell it's like... Like th some things are like technology that doesn't exist yet, but most shit is the same. A really obvious example is Big Hero 6. That's obviously set in the future, but we don't have a good context. And there hasn't been a whole lot of societal changes yet. I never read the fucking comics. So I don't know if the comics give a nice hard idea of how far in the future we are. I'm just talking about the movie. Oh. Q's rarely seen neutral throw. I think it does less damage than towards throw. Not 100% sure of that. I think the Oki's worse too. Almost every FF game has um, a period far in the past where technology was way more advanced than it is in the present. That's like a running theme. And that's how they can blur sci-fi and fantasy a little bit. That's how you can have a generally fantasy setting and then some sci-fi stuff. I 
FF10 took that shit and ran with it. FF10 was literally like, like uh, society can only advance so far technology, technologically. And then we'll just fuck it all up. Oof. If it gets too far. FF12 is the fucking technologically advanced past. FF, FFT is set in FF12's future. And yeah, it is like medieval setting. FF7 was at its most technologically advanced point, although you might have some considerations of the weapons. The weapons weren't like built by people, it's not really clear. The game makes it sound like the weapons were just built by the planet itself. But I don't remember if that's what actually happened. No, I did not play the remake demo. I'm probably just going to wait for part 1 to come out. I even watched someone playing it. Omega in FF5 was made by an ancient civilization, and it's like the most technologically advanced thing in the game. I don't remember the past of FF4, it's been too long since I played that game. I remember there was a giant on the moon. If there was a giant on the moon, there was probably an ancient civilization on the moon. Nice punish. Ugh. I think the Q juggles on Ibuki the same. Oh! Oh. Really? Wow. You guys see that? He got thrown out of SA2. That's invincible until after it hits. I think it might lose some invincibility on the frame it hits, so that ends up being like super precise to get throws. I've seen that happen on a few different supers where I didn't think that could happen. Like Ken SA3. I went on a date with Barrett on at least one of my playthroughs. I didn't know about the sex scene though. I'm mad in my current, my most recent FF7 playthrough that I missed the sex scene. Was that an uppercut that just didn't knock down? Time out. That was weird. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it got a deep hit. Weird. There's a sex. There's there is indeed a sex scene in F of Seven. You need to have a high enough relationship value with Tifa when you get to the um, uh, the crater at the end of disc three. And there's like a scene. No matter what, there's a scene where you fucking um, sleep under the high wind or something with her, or I don't remember. <laughs> It plays out differently depending on how high your value relationship value with Tifa is. There'll be like different dialogue. And if you have the best relationship value, it like literally just is just implied sex. And also, yeah, the crew watches. Oh my god, so scary. Most of the things that determine relationships are right near the start of the game. After that, it's just like having Tifa on your team. And honestly, Tifa's not that good. <laughs> there aren't that many differences between the units in FF7. It's almost all the limit breaks. 
Antifa's limit breaks are probably some of the worst. Maybe they're pretty good if you always roll the fucking... Uh, I forget what they're called. The extra double plus good ones. The yes, yes, the hit and yeah. If you only roll yes, Tifa's limit breaks are probably pretty fucking good. It's annoying. You can like miss hits of it though. And they don't do any cool special effects or anything. Like, there are a lot of limit breaks that have some interesting thing that they do. Like, Barrett having a limit break that removes MP. Or, uh, what's it, Lunatic High on Red 13. Or literally every one of Eris' limit breaks. Cloud Vincent Yuffie is a very strong team. Oh, that dropped. The best team is almost always agreed to be Barrett and Sid because they have a whole bunch of hits on their limit breaks and generally very strong weapons. Vincent is theoretically better than Sid if you do the fucking glitch with his weapon. For every kill that Vincent gets, uh, his final weapon gets stronger. And um, if you there's an underflow glitch if you kill more than 65,000 enemies with it. And it will one-shot every enemy in the game, including the weapons. But if you don't do that, um, I think the only two uh, glitches with that, the overflow, um, are on Barrett and Sid. I mean Barrett and Vincent. And Barrett's already generally the best character in the game. Just because his limits are super good, and because he has generally good stats as well. Um... And then Yuffie is really good for the conformer and being able to, uh, what do you call that, when you transform enemies. I don't remember the name of it. Morph, right? But she's like a pretty good unit in general as well, just because she has also limit breaks with lots of hits. Um, I My most recent playthrough I did... Uh, wow, I don't even remember. It was either Barrett and Yuffie or Sid and Yuffie. I mean, technically speaking, I guess Katsy is probably the absolute best character in the game because of how slots work. I didn't think anyone could be consistent with that, but after watching a fucking slot speedrun, I'm clearly mistaken. Bruh. Bruh. It's the same for me. Except I don't have a dorm. Fuck Makoto. You see that shit? Oh my god. Necro Stash goes really far. It's not that fast, but it feels kind of fast. I saw, like, I didn't realize how breakable FF8 was until I heard, like, I like saw someone who was good at it. You basically want to level up, like, as slow as possible. Oh, he's doing the juggle. Oh, interesting. Um, when you command grab with Necro, it doesn't do damage until they hit the ground. So you can actually juggle before they hit the ground, but it almost always does less damage than just letting the command grab rock. It's a little bit... I think there's a couple command grabs in um, Tekken that work like that. There's, like, a... Um, I think Bob has one. I don't know for sure. But there's a few command grabs where all the damage is dealt when the opponent lands, and you can juggle out of them instead. And the juggle, it's like really hard to make the juggle be as strong as just letting the command grab land. But here we see him going for the, um, that that probably did about as much, maybe a little bit more than the, the, uh, the command grab does naturally. But it did a lot more stun because he did a super. It's hard to say whether that was better. I think it was. 
He had to spend the meter, but he got it all back. Spending the meter is not a big deal with Necro because he gets meter decently fast and has um, super short uh, super bars. <laughs> it was more meter expenditure. Letting the command grab rock would have built more meter. Whoa, he's dead. Anyway, an FF8, from what I can tell, it's literally level up as little as possible and equip like tier 4 spells as fast as possible is how to break the game. And there's like ways to get like tier 4 spells pretty early if you're really efficient about it. I don't know how. Always stories of people equipping like fucking cure 4 or whatever, cure Aja, whatever it's called in that game. Uh, that was really hard to parry post freeze, probably one frame. The amount of time you have to parry Makoto Super is based on how far you are from here. Oh, that was a wake up super. Another super? Oh, it was that was the play, I think. Two supers. I think that works on Makoto. And it would have dizzied her. He got the reset though, and he saved the meter, so. Nice. Oh no. Okay. That actually kept on going. He's alive? Someone look up Quistus's age. I remember reading that and thinking like, what the fuck? I've never beaten FF8, by the way. I have made it to disc 2. But I've never beaten the game. Quistus, like, the game acts like she's in her fucking 30s or something. What kind of bizarre juggle is this? What did that really do? Nice. Should've been air throw. Okay. Air throw would've been a hot meme. Every character who's supposed to be old is not old in Final Fantasy. Cool juggle. That's an unblockable. That's a real unblockable. You cannot quick stand that knockdown. I love this aura already. What the fuck is this setup? He didn't really give himself that much time to jump with that one. There was no threat of like an empty jump low. And the parry itself was at a kind of obvious time. And he only had two hits from the super anyway. Yes, it's one of the older characters. How old is Steiner? I remember thinking he was like probably pretty old and he's not. Scalf's one of the oldest ones. Ah. That's interesting. I did not know about that. That's very interesting. That's that has now been stolen by me. Oh, what the fuck. Steiner was 33. Whatever. You can have young knights. That's not young. If he was knighted when he was in his fucking young 20s, then he's like, you know, he's probably a decent veteran. Knows the business. I feel like there's some bad gameplay story segregation. And, uh... Uh... FF9. It's weird how much stronger, sh like, uh, what's her face? Beatrix is than Steiner. I get that she's supposed to be stronger, but it's weird how much stronger. Ah. Uh. The double jump was good there. I think he could have done something to win there, but I don't know what. Oh, who won? Necro lived through that? Are you kidding me? He had no health. That's weird. That that wasn't a double KO. He 
It didn't register the damage on Necro, even though he was being hit during the fucking KO freeze. Yeah, Freya... Okay, hold on. Freya's age is like... Hold on. You don't even know how stupid it is. Freya had been dating Fratley for like... Or like, Fratley disappeared like... Five years ago, right? And before he disappeared, he had been dating Freya, right? <laughs> Freya was like 15 or 16. And Fratley was like 20. Isn't that kind of weird? Fratley was not like 19 or 20 and he was dating Freya who was 15 or 16. Their ages actually just don't work with the fucking time frame of Fratley going missing. Oh, okay, maybe it's not as good of a meme as I thought it was. Oh, why the cancel, dude? It just fucked his own juggle. Super? Yikes. Yeah, Maybe he wants that. Maybe he wants the up fireball. Neat. That will turn into the back throw. Which does more damage if it hits a back turned opponent? Nice. I use that starter a lot. I don't use that fucking... <laughs> I don't use that that juggle. Oh, I like this, yeah. that He can quick stand, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it's kind of telegraphed. If Oro acted right as he landed, he would have better punish there. Cute. That was a really bad punish. I think he was waiting for a super, which never came. What he actually should have done is um, got the parry on the either the back medium kick or the first hit of the spinning hook and then he should have punished right away by waiting to parry the second hit of the spinning hook he allowed a potential super cancel from necro which he then had to anticipate but you can easily inter if you parry the first hit of spinning hook you can easily interrupt before the second hit connects he went for an elaborate parry that made the situation a lot harder for him Granted, because he expected a super, he still could have punished with Sand Strong. He just didn't. He punished with a throw. After the after there was no super, he could have just reacted to that and done Sand Strong. And he still would have had a punish in time. KO Freeze on the same frame as Orodic. Not that I'm aware. The only way to act while your opponent is guaranteed to die would involve Dizzy's or after like a back throw. Or no, there could be off of a booger setup. You could do stand strong at the booger and have the booger slowly hit and then get a sweep dick frame while the fucking booger is slowly killing them. Nice reds, but terrible punish. Frame perfect crouch roundhouse. On a frame that, like, <laughs> that'd be like impossible. I'd have to try it with emulators first. Midi sweep. Big brain. Aura sweep is pretty slow and doesn't have that great of range, but it does have the biggest range of all his lows. And it's kind of hard to punish. It's not safe, but a lot of characters struggle to punish it, especially from mid-range. It's not a bad sweep as they go. I rarely touch it, but it's actually quite good. Oh, that's not safe, I think. No, I think it is with stones. Nice. I never do it. I think Aura's minus there, but if he can even if he can reach an active frame at all with any attack, um, he gets stones covering him. The back throw? Just fucking punish with Sand Strong into stones. It would have done so much more damage. This aura is like memeing. But also he's clearly super good. Nice. 
Nice pickup. I would have got the same one, I promise. Ooh. He parried it. He saw the overhead and he went for the parry. Necro is actually out of range, though. I was going to say super here. Uh, so the stones make that safer. In fact, if you get, depending on the, how you land it, you can get sweep into a pickup with Tango Stones, but not with three stone. I think Necro could show up with both Sim or Monot. I think all three of them could be in the same game and it wouldn't be a big deal. They're not that similar. Every Dalsim is so different. I wonder what Dalsim players like. I think that Dalsim in SF5 probably has my favorite Dalsim design, but I don't know if other... Oh, she bounced off the wall! That's the... Oh, get some stone hits. Yeah. Oh, he fucked it up. That was super bad there. So right here... Let me find it. This roundhouse, with no stones hitting, is adding normally to the juggle potential. So that's one. That's, like, two. And see how no stones are hitting? Now you have to move forward... In order to reset the struggle potential, you want stones to hit. So you have to move forward a little bit, and you have to get some stones to connect. So see how he had stone hits there? That resets the struggle uh, number, so now she's back to zero. But right here, he gets a fucking Towards Strong and no stones hit, which is like the worst case scenario, because Towards Strong with no stones hitting is an instant six. So he literally loses all of his struggle potential. I think he still gets the kill, so really, it was if anything, it was good for him. Because he got his uh, nice struggle into his max meter build. Probably the most rushed down Dalsim is the Street Fighter 2 Dalsim. Street Fighter 4 Dalsim probably had the most stuff to do. You had shit like Yoga Tower. Oh, he's going for the unblockable. <laughs> the stone's blocking the fireball. It wouldn't have mattered. He sh still could have super cancelled. Oh no! It wasn't a punish though. It wasn't fast enough. That's interesting. I always just go for stand strong there. But you see what he did? He did forward dash stand strong. That's extra corner carry. I've never thought about an optimization like that. Roundhouse is a really bad normal in this matchup. So is far forward. Far strong isn't great either. It's, it's okay. Low strong is also okay. Low forward is really good, I find. It doesn't go that far, but it just trades favorably with the normals chun -Li's trying to fucking hit you with. I shouldn't say trades favorably. It can win based on your timing, and if it doesn't win, it'll often trade. That was a reversal non ex Oniyama. I think SF2 Dalsim has her boxes on his extender normals. Or at least he does by uh, Super Turbo. There are other things about him, they're extremely stupid. But you can, like, even from full screen, you can, like, light DP a Dalsim Lim in Street Fighter 2. There's no juggle there. You cannot get overhead into launch. Oh. Oh, he didn't get far enough away. That's a pain in the ass, that punish. I probably would have not even gone for the jump. I probably just fucking blocked. Um, what was I saying? I forget. Unfortunately, all of the Oniyamas kill your juggle potential. Except DX. And you can't do EX Oniyama to SA3 because it costs too much meter. So if you only on to activate, there's no pickup if it hits. Very nice. I 
I love those super jumps. That was a very awkward angle for Necro to try an ATR. Interesting. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, oh, see how he did the universal overhead and it comboed into... Um... Wow, how did that not kill? You see how his universal overhead comboed into the launcher? That works on every character except Oro, Elena, and Chun-Li, the tiny crouchers. And um, uh, because of that, Chun-Li, oftentimes, if you get her in the corner and you've got stones up, oftentimes Chun-Li will just hold down back. Because it's like, even if you hit me with an overhead, it doesn't lead to anything. I find it strange that there's no one, like, significantly fucking associated with T-Hawk. Even after all these games that T-Hawk's been in. Koji Cog is one of them. Maybe Damn Die, right? I would associate both those players with T-Hawk a little bit. But, like, try to think of someone who you, like, kind of, like... Like, who do you think of when you think of T-Hawk? Who's, like, a big T-Hawk player that you think of? Uh... That's how you're supposed to get out of stuff like that. See how he woke up with like a mash down parry. I don't even know who Mexican Impact is. I feel like I've heard that name. Is that Street Fighter 4 player? I associate like fucking eight people with, with Rashid. More. Native Impact. I remember him. That's what I was thinking of. DJ is not easy either. What the fuck was that? And why'd it work? I think uh, Necro actually might have been in parry lock right there. Which is kind of funny. It looked like he went for a parry and then like backed out and then went for another parry. Are you sure you weren't thinking of Mexican Typhoon? Because I think that's the actual name of one of T-Hawk's special moves. Wow, that got the connect. It's always so funny. It requires a very precise timing of Stomp to connect. To get that launching juggle. And Stan Strong will set it up for free. But getting it in neutral is, like, super weird. <laughs> I've had it happen to uh, me a few times, though. Oh, no. What are the names of Teok's moves? Mexican Typhoon, I think, and Double Typhoon are correct. Condor Spire, Condor Dive. What's the uppercut? That was a buffered, um, that was a partitioned fireball. Very interesting. If it was off of Stand Strong, it would have been super good. It's weird that he didn't do that. I'm going to hear the name of Teok's uppercut. I'm going to be mad that I couldn't think of it. Because I know it. Damn, it's pouring outside. I can hear it. I live in the desert. We get less than 10 inches of rain a year. And yet it's going to rain all week with thunder and lightning. It's got some name that's not Mexican or Condor. But I don't remember what it is. Cool. I always fuck that up. I always walk back too much. Nice. Love seeing this. What's your cool ender? What kind of ender is that? That was stupid. Walk forward, stand jab. Tomahawk Buster. Ah, I did know that. I haven't thought about that in fucking ages. 
Haddock, rice, and spinach. That sounds nice. My dinner is probably going to be a potato. Actually, it will be two potatoes. Because I have a whole bunch of potatoes in my house and they need eating up. I'm probably going to bake them. Oh no! That should have worked. They're not huge potatoes. Huh? Condor Spire didn't even exist in Street Fighter 2, did it? It was probably a different special. Or unless you're thinking it was Condor Dive. Condor Spire is new to SF4, I think. I don't think he even had it in Alpha. Ooh, cool, fancy. We got a full dizzy juggle. <laughs> that ender was kind of weak, though. Instead of doing back roundhouse, if he did um, heavy spin hook, that probably would have led to a kill combo. Heavy spin hook, back medium kick, fucking, I don't know, light spin hook. I don't know if there's a juggle on or after light spin hook. I feel like there isn't, but there might be. Every time he does a light spin hook like that, they're plus one, but it's got a consistent reactable red parry timing. So it's all about how timid the player is. That all comboed? Wow. Necker actually could have fairly easily blocked that, though. No! Why was it low strong? Why would you ever hit that button? Oh, was, oh! Tricky, tricky. I've closed that rounds like that, and it feels cheap. Like, how could they possibly anticipate that? Ninja Jump Fierce. I find Aura's Ninja Jump Heavies to be extremely good. What the fuck? Jump in EX Stomp? What function does that serve? The red. That's not a real unblockable. You don't have to do, like, a fucking red parry to get out of that. Of course, if you can do the red parry, you should. In order to have a real unblockable, you need to have at least a um, a hit of it. You need to have at least one hit after Oro's fucking cross-up hit. And that gets both of the hits of the fireball before the cross-up hit. So you can just change blocking directions before the cross-up and you're okay. Three stone Tengu lasts way too long. It is stupid. It's probably one of the single most broken attacks in the entire game. And yet in Aura's kit, it's not even that out of place. It's only about as strong as fucking um, SA3, EX SA3. It's just that it breaks the rules. You know? It feels like they tried really hard to avoid checkmate scenarios in this game, but it's for a lot of characters, it's restrictively difficult to get out of that without fucking doing like the god parry. I only saw the spawn trailer. I haven't watched the gameplay of Spawn yet. Oro, I can see how someone would think Oro was a low tier if they didn't like get deep into the game. Most people still consider him to be like a mid. It's a fairly new idea that Oro is a high tier, let alone a fucking top tier. Um, and Savannah. I don't know how to spell it. It's like the fucking, it's a Marvel character. It's the real name of some Marvel character. It's like something like that, but I don't remember how exactly. But it's like a website that compiles the strike frame data. So if you Google that and then like SF3 frame data, or if you just Google SF3 frame data and then see a name that looks like that, that's where that all is. Video analysis on the 3S roster. Are we talking about Renick? <laughs> Who are we talking about? 
Or are we talking about like design? I see no reason you can't just change blocking directions there. I'll have to lab that. It looks like you have quite a big window to change blocking directions. And yet Necro just got... It like obviously looks so simple. And yet Necro got hit over and over. The fuck was that? Is that a failed super activate? Here we go. See how, he, see how he's doing like meaty buttons into low. That's to punish um, mashed parries. Mashed parries are a decent way out. If you parry Oro's limb, Oro gets frozen. So what Oro is doing there is he's whiffing the limb so only the stones are connecting meaty. And that puts the opponent in a position where they have to parry and they can't do anything else. Parry block. And then he's doing something weird. He's going for a low only or uh, overhead only parry. It was low roundhouse twice there and then just a universal overhead. He's trying to make it so that whichever direction that Necro picks to parry, um, he gets hit by the follow-up normal because Aura never gets frozen. But if you have your like normal parried, I always act like SA3 is super broken because it kind of is. But um, if you have your normal parried, they... Parry the follow-up page. If they're hitting forward enough, they parry the stones too. And Oro doesn't recover from being parried after, even after the opponent parries all the stones. So just parrying a single Oro normal and then all the stones, the opponent will still be plus enough to punish Oro. Which is why parries actually do allow you to escape. But only if you actually parry Oro. Which is why things like meaty light kick to get stones meaty are really strong. I do that myself. I do meaty light kicks whenever the opponent's knocked over with stones. And then I start my pressure like that. Oh no. I'm quite strong in this matchup. I've got good experience against a lot of good Makotos. It's also a pretty fair matchup. I would call it probably 5-5. Whoa. She jumped. If she stayed on the ground, she would have been fine. Yeah, damn this up. I'm not your monkey. I won't jump through your hoops. You can't wave a $2.50 bill above my head and say jump, bath, jump. Makoto's worst matchup? I don't know. I would hazard a guess that it's either Yon or Chun Li. But which one it actually is is hard to say. Oro's worst matchup is Chun Li, though. Free. Yen's no cakewalk either. Yang is also a pain in the ass. Shoto's are okay. Ken is the worst. Nice quick stand. It's quite hard to quick stand there. Oof. I forgot all about lol making a fighting game. What's it going to be called? Uh, if there's a character Chun-Li loses to, it's Yun. Or maybe Ken. But those are both hotly debated among the best players in the world. Kuroda is of the opinion that Chun-Li does not lose a single matchup, and Ken goes the most even. But that's not the majority opinion. It's just Kuroda's opinion. But, you know, if anyone's right, it's probably him. Um, oh, Makoto landed before she could get hit by that. Here we go, that looks like a better one. Nice. Next media build, baby. Kuroda's a free man. That's all I know. He's been playing a lot of SF5. I love that staying strong as a poke because it catches the Makoto forward dash, but also if like Makoto finishes the forward dash, it turns into close strong and launches her. 
And you can just, like, every time you do stand strong, it, like, OS is it. Ooh, crouching hit. Lots of frames. Oh, that was a parry. It was a high parry, too. Aggressive. Low parry is more typical there. The two things Makoto can do quickly are low short and stand short, which can both be low parried. Look how squished that Moko is. I need another Toho emote. I've got one I'm thinking about. If I have more emotes, more people will sub. I've only played one Toho game ever. It was Immaterial and Missing Power. That was stand forward, and it was for sure going to be cancelled into EX Uppercut on hit or block or parry. Or maybe regular uppercut. EX would be more likely, though. Since regular uppercut won't necessarily beat like a fucking parry into punish. Nice. I used gun stones now. Oh, that could have been a punish. The stones killed the struggle potential. It's because he got both hits of Sin Strong. Lots of meter build. Yeah, hit grab would have been the mix, but unfortunately if you get parried, the hit grab is only going to work if they think that they have to do more parries in order to preempt an EX uppercut. And most of the time it won't be an EX uppercut, so I would call EX uppercut the stronger option there. Oh, that was... No, it wasn't crouching hit, though. I think if he did an early jump medium kick, it would have been crouching hit. And early jump medium kick on crouching hit does lead to a combo. Ugh, not a great punish. I usually just go for stand forward there, but close strong as possible. This should kill. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, it didn't matter. That's weird. Wow, I was pretty sure that was going to kill. I actually didn't, even though he did everything exactly the way I would have done it. Apart from the uh, fireball activate. That actually nerfed his starter. Because after he did the fireball activate, he had to start with medium kick. Right? So this does quite a lot of damage, your opening hit. Roundhouse would be better here, but he does medium kick first. So he probably did lower his overall damage doing something weird like that. After the initial, like, two hits of Tengu juggles, the initial two Oro actions, you're scaled beyond belief. And basically what juggle you do doesn't matter anymore, so you just try to keep the opponent airborne. I mean, you're still doing damage, but it's just like you're doing damage by number of hits, not by amount of, like, power. Your stand jab will do about the same damage as your stand right now. Because of all the scaling. Very nice. That's the combo I do a lot. He was really good about his spacing there. Makoto probably had a parry into super, but it would have been nightmarish to do. And apart from that, she didn't have parrying to throw at any point because he never got close enough. Which is very strong. Anyway, the first two hits of your um, Tengu juggle do actually matter quite a lot for damage. He has enough meter. Three stone. He's going for an unblockable. That didn't even cross up. <laughs> but God, I was afraid of nothing. If you don't, um, Oro's double jump... If he neutral jumps for the first jump, the double jump has very little left and right. You have to be really high up to actually clear an opponent's body. Yeah, what up, what up, it's me. Oh, mid-air connect. In the corner, that leads to another dash punch. Mid-screen, the other dash punch is, you know, it's meter build. 
<laughs> the fireball never hit. He threw a bad one. Oh, MC jump low. That's a mix up with jump in stomp. Whoa. Careful. My cut out use and jump back round house is an ATA. Very interesting. Oh, I can't believe he blocked that. It's the right frame, might kill. Yep. Damn, I hear it pouring again. I'm going to have to drive in the rain. The traffic's already really bad. It's going to be a lot worse. I'm going to have to leave like an hour and a half early to get there on time, just to be safe. My class starts at 7, so I'm going to have to pack it up at 5.30. Which means I need to start getting ready around like 5. Current time is about 2.15. EX mirror. Oh. He didn't have super one. I was like, he could have killed there, but no, he couldn't have. I'm surprised too. Not only that, but I've got a quiz today. It seems like it's going to be real simple. It's on, uh, what do you call that, mechanics? It's on shit like math, it's on shit like uh, acceleration and velocity and all that. Force. Momentum. It's on that stuff. Nice parry into tackle. What even is kinetic energy? I don't know either. When stuff is moving, it has a lot of kinetic energy, and when it's not moving, it doesn't have any. Maybe. It's physics, the class. Physics is rather important to red techs. No, it's not quantum physics. Oh, he could have... If he attacked on the way down, he would have killed her. He still got it. I have to spend a little bit of meter. Meter is very precious to Urian. Urian's probably the single most meter thirsty character in the game. Maybe Chun-Li. Whole character turns on his head once he's got some bar. I learned something recently about kinetic and potential energy. It was that external forces, such as friction, change the total amount of mechanical energy inside an object, mechanical energy being both kinetic and potential. And internal forces, such as um, what? What's an internal force? Magnetism? Uh, do not change the total amount of um, uh, mechanical energy it has. This Acho series of uploads they've been doing recently have all been 3 out of 5 for whatever reason. I kind of like 3 out of 5, so I'm not complaining. Oh, that's unsafe. That is literally one of two things Young can even do in Gene that is, that is unsafe. Got him. Yuri's so cool. I feel like Street Fighter V has improved the public perception of Yurian. I feel like most people didn't know what the fuck this character is about, and now I feel like most people like him. 
He's a cool guy. Oh, look at that. He knew. He knew that Yum was going to try and shoulder under that shit. You can parry shoulders forward or down. Doesn't matter. Works either way. Ooh. It's such a pain in the ass punching dive kicks that don't hit. Because it feels like whatever button you hit, like the dive kick just lands on you. Crush. Like that. Yeah. Up kick into up kick. That does work. I think it's kind of strict when it works. Ooh. Nice whiff punish. Holy shit. And he kept his meter too. EX mirror. Very smart. That's why you always have to double parry tackles. That's Yang in the background. We'll wait until he's on screen again. Whichever one you're playing as, the other one's chilling watching. I never really noticed until years after playing this game, but this is like a podium they're standing on, and you can see like people down there on the ground. Those are like heads, and they move around. We're on like a fucking rooftop right now. Or like a stage. The stage would probably be more accurate. You got the fucking, you know, all this shit. What are these ACs? I feel like every time there's a fucking Hong Kong street, it's the same street. Is every street in Hong Kong like this? It is a street. I feel like it is. I feel like we're on some fucking, you know... I don't know what we're on. I don't know where the fuck we are here. We're on like a fucking, uh... What do you call those things? It's like a castle. Russian-style motherfucking castle. In the process of being renovated or built or something. We got all the scaffolding everywhere. The stages in this game have great parallaxing. Interesting combo. He probably could have just done jump around off scratch fierce. He did a combo that was easier. Cost meter. Yeah, we were quite definitively on the roof of a castle. I like Aura's second impact stage with the fucking animals and shit. The dog and the parrot. Aura's wing quote mentions his fucking pets, but I'd never seen them until I finally bothered to fucking look at second impact. I was like, oh shit. I thought it was just the turtle. Ironically, the turtle's not in his second impact stage, I think. The Necro stage is super weird in second impact. It's like a train, and there's like a weird fucking giant woman in the back pushing, um, what do you call it? Like, like, exposed cables together. It literally could be a Darkstalker stage. It looks very, very much like a Darkstalker stage. Necro Second Impact. There's a lot of little touches in the stages in this game that make them truly special. I love the Hugo stage when everything bounces. Whoa. I feel like people invariably mention these two games. But the my the game with my favorite stages is probably KO thirteen. Yeah. 
Even the annoying stages in that game are still badass. They're just annoying. Like the one that's pure white. I love all the hidden shit. The Kogen Ryu Dojo is super cool. With like the 20 characters who can appear in the background. I like the one with the castle. And it's like almost static. It could almost be like a fucking PNG stage. But you've got one teeny tiny flag in the background just waving away right in the corner. On top of one of the fucking parapets. Um... And this, the mist moves as well. It's very subtle. It feels like it's almost a still image. But you can see movement if you look kind of hard. It's very pretty though. It's like a place where nothing should be moving. That's why it works. Yeah, it's the side of a skyscraper. That one's really f f super cool. You got the helicopter down below. It's like the right way up. And it's like one of your frames of reference that everything's the wrong fucking side. What about the fetus of God? I think that's where you have the last boss battle in Vampire Savior. It's the one with the freaky baby in the background. What about Red Thirst? I always like that one. What about this Japan stage with the cool music? I love that stage, just because I love the song. I don't know whose stage it is. Hi. Oh, he dropped every part of that juggle. Grand Blue. I'm like a little interested. Is it already out? Did it come out? On PC that is. Tomorrow. I'll think about it. It's been a while since I played something that wasn't called either Street Fighter or King of Fighters. Nice. Oh, the red! It's dead. Leaving early access. What is done now? What metric have they finally passed? Oh yeah, I do play MK. I haven't... I've barely touched MK11. I feel like the core roster is so strong in TFH. I feel like all six characters feel very distinct. And yet each one feels pretty fun. That being said, I would never play half of them. But the fact that I would play half is quite impressive considering how different they all feel. Nice. It's Tyrant Punish. How about that? How often do you see that? I didn't even notice. I do not play under night. Arizona has a super cool design that I would main. Velvet has a super cool design that I would main. Paprika is cancerous and I wouldn't touch her. Um, what, Palm? Cancerous wouldn't touch. Uh, Tianhuo, right? I think that's it. She's cool. Wood main. Where's the other one? Fucking the Twilight Sparkle. I don't remember her name. 
She was kind of cool. Wood main. That's like a pretty solid. Four of the six characters I would enjoy playing. Ah. Oh no. He, <laughs> he tried to red play the last hit. Nice, good confirm. SA ones confirms are so weird. You never see them. I remember asking one of the devs. I was like, because the the one of the devs came into my stream, and I was like, uh, "Who's the most played or something?" I asked some question like that, and it was like they were all played about evenly, and I was like blown away because it seems like, I don't know. I felt like Tianhua would get, like, fucking so many players compared to, like, fucking Palm. You know what I mean? Tianhua is so easy and, like, fun and straightforward. I actually remember seeing some, like, you know, is <laughs> the advanced gameplay was not very much like what I was expecting it to be. Uh, it's a valiant effort. Getting out of that scenario alive is almost impossible. Your best hope is that Yurian just fucks up and walks towards you and you back throw him into the corner. And that way you don't have to go for the whole parry. I don't remember. It just wasn't using the same, like, strings. You know? Think of, like, fucking Doom or Dante. Early combos. Versus, like, current combos. You're looping different shit. Are you talking about stuff for like the trial mode? Right? Can't you put in your own trials in the trial mode? That's such a cool feature. Imagine if instead of watching a fucking B and B video on YouTube, you could just download a B and B file and all the combos in it were B and Bs. And then it just creates the scenario and you do the B&B. &B. It's like here you have one bar and the opponent's in the corner. Do this combo. That should actually be a standard feature of fighting games. You could like upload your combo in um, Yatagaras. Uh. Trial mode is fun as fuck. I'd play a video game that was only trial mode. That reminds me that I got all the Blast Blue games on Steam. And I kind of want to just go through them and play all the trials. Also, Blast Blue trials are hard as fuck. Or it would be more accurate to say that Blast Blue trials are quite hard, and also the characters feel like they're all from different fighting games. So if you're, like, not very good with, uh, what's his name? The fucking wolf guy, Valkenhayn. If you're not very good with his transformations, his trials are going to be hard as shit. Uh... Hi. That was jump medium kick, I think. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't think I was gonna hit. You still spent that meter though. 
Now I kind of just want to install. Oh. Is that auto confirm? Usually tackle's unsafe, so you just see people, like, you know, see for cancel anyway to make it safe with Super 3. But with Super 1, it's unsafe with or without the cancel. Yeah, I do like every character feels like they're from a different game. That's like what the purpose of, of different characters should be, I feel. I don't mind if some characters are similar. It's nice when some characters teach you other characters. There should be like an overarching theme, though. I feel like um, uh, KF13 did a good job teaching you how to play everyone, even though the characters felt kind of distinct. But they weren't super distinct. In Third Strike, there are only a, like, I would say, like, probably five characters or so are oddballs and don't really teach you the other ones. Oro's maybe one of them. Oro's not very instructive of teaching you other characters, and other characters aren't very instructive of teaching you Oro. Obviously, parries are pretty similar no matter who you're playing as, but what you do after a parry is very different, and that ends up mattering quite a lot. You'll get a different idea of how to use parries based on who you're playing. Damn, I'll watch. Ugh. You wish that was stronger. It was pretty strong, though. That was like a full jumping combo. This is about as strong as Yurian combos get that don't involve, like, multiple mirrors. Very cool. Two crouch jabs is a super confirm. Oh, there was one. He could have done a super there. What a one. I'm super tempted to install uh, Continuum. No, it's the first one, Calamity Trigger. Calamity Trigger had a really small roster. It was missing a lot of quality of life stuff that's there now. I don't remember what, I won't remember until I'm actually playing. When did Makoto show up? Was she Continuum Shift 1? She had some... I forget what. I think she had something... They changed something about the way her drive worked that made it way easier. Nice. I think he waited a bit too just to see if there was a super cancel. I like Blast way more than Guilty Gear to be honest. I'm probably in a minority. Blast Blue makes Guilty Gear feel really dated to me, mechanically speaking. Just doing like, you know, dash stuff is so weird. You know what I mean? It feels like the natural evolution. Was that a super cancel from Makoto? I think it was. It feels like a lot of characters are like... Have a more standard version of something that was once like accidental and broken. In Exerd. Feels that way about like Milia's fucking meaties and stuff like that. You know stashes. It feels like stuff existed prior to there being, like, good, consistent game design, and then they just, like, tried to fit it into good, consistent game design. And then there are characters who were designed after a lot of standards kind of got laid down, who feel a little bit more natural. I feel like it's the same as with Street Fighter Four when you get characters like Honda and Blanca versus characters like uh, Dudley and Makoto. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a different design philosophy. 
Characters like Dudley and Makoto will be quite complex without a clear single thing that they're trying to do. And then you play Honda and Blanca and it's like, I headbutt. I throw myself at you. I make you block mash move. And that's how it is between Guilty Gear and Blast Blue for me. Feels like all the Blast Blue characters don't have like a single thing that they're trying to do. Instead, they're like more well rounded. And they do have their gimmicks, don't get me wrong. Ooh. But like, Jin's gimmick will be freezing you, but he's got a million different ways he can freeze you. Oh, nice red. There we go. That's what I was talking about. I never thought about it like that. <laughs> Samus versus Mega Man in Smash. Is Samus really more one-dimensional than Mega Man? Just thinking about it off the top of my head, yeah. Mega Man's doing shit like fucking throwing blade saws at the ground and then picking them up. It's got like eight different ways you can fucking throw projectiles at you. Compared to Samus just shooting missiles. I don't know how to call that, but it's like a thing I've noticed. You know what I mean? It's hard to describe. Where you've got like a legacy character versus like a more modern character. And they have a very different like uh, design philosophy it feels. Oh. Uh. Nice punish. Holy shit. Not only did he parry that stone runhouse, but he walked in a little bit to get an optimal punish. Antiquated, yeah. I feel like Kirby needs whole overhauls to his moves. That hammer needs to do like 80% of a shield in one go. You know what I mean? Kirby Superstar is the coolest game, so... One thing rather than Kirby. I don't know. You got whole fucking things that Kirby just never touches. I don't know about Kirby and Ultimate. I only know about Kirby and fucking... Melee Brawl and a little bit of Smash 4. I saw Puff's buffs in like a few patches ago in Ultimate. And they looked so fucking good. I was like, oh man, this is fucking season of Puff. Puff's my main, by the way. And, um... Uh... There's still no Puff players. It's like two, or one. Hungrybox plays Puff, but he's not like winning events that I'm aware of. Yeah, it's a miracle they balanced the game as well as they have with how many characters are in Ultimate. It's only because of hotfixes that it's even as close as it is, and the fact that it's just, you know, 
pretty similar to Smash 4. So you might consider Smash Ultimate itself a hotfix. Ooh. The legend mechanics feel really solid in Smash Ultimate. Maybe you're a bit too vulnerable on the ledge, I don't know. I don't like the idea, I don't like the two-framing thing. It feels like some characters are just really good at stopping you from grabbing the ledge. You know what I mean? You get stuff like uh, Ivysaur down air, or like Mario's run attack with slide. Where it'll just like, it's got like so many active frames and a nice hitbox that it's very easy to just hit someone who's trying to fucking land on the ledge. You're supposed to feel weak once you're off stage. You're supposed to be in a pretty bad situation where it's hard to fucking... You might get gimped. Or it's hard to, like, get back on the stage. I think Brawl had pretty good recovery in general. I don't remember. I think Smash 4 had decent recovery in general. I think both of them had recovery that was arguably too good. And in Smash 64, you had a recovery that was probably arguably too bad. It's very easy to hit someone who was trying to land on the ledge and stuff like that. It's very easy to gimp people. Melee had pretty good feeling recovery for the top tiers. But for the lower tiers, it was, like, horrible. People like to point to Melee and say the recovery was good in that game, but actually it was only good if you were, like, a top half character. I'm going to install Pokin. I mean, not Pokin, I just read Pokin. I'm going to install fucking Calamity Trigger. Yeah, um, Falcon, right? Captain Falcon's recovery is kind of shit. Um, Spacey's, people sometimes say Spacey's have bad recovery, and sometimes they say a really good recovery, and I don't know who to believe. Um, they have two different recoveries, which is kind of cool, but both of them are a little bit mediocre. But the fact that you've got two different ones is really nice. Especially because you've got, you know, all the different angles without B, and then the side B, you've got two different distances. That ends up being quite a lot of variety. And variety is valuable. I own Bloodstained. Who bought that for me? I didn't buy it. How big is this game? 12 gigs? Is that right? Good fucking lord. I guess we can keep watching. I wonder if I'm going to start getting a whole bunch of drop frames, though. Oh my god. I got fast internet. I'm already 200 megs downloaded. Oh, it's only 8 gigs. It was lying to me. I'm already 3%. I'm going to take no time at all. Uh, let's put YouTube back on. And I'm going to go refill my drink really quick. Whoa, that's the wrong one. There we go. Be right back.
Did anyone miss me? Don't be honest, though. Hold up. I'm going to check on a few things at once. Whoa. Huh. It is at 7.42 gigs downloaded, 87%. We're getting there. While I was downstairs, my cat reminded me that he hasn't been fed today, very vocally. He's got unlimited dry food, so I don't know what the fuck his problem is. I'm all opening the cabinet. I was reminded that my mom brought home some Ghirardelli mug cakes. I was like, you know, I haven't had one of those in a while. My breakfast was very light. Let's go nuts! So I made one. Anyone here ever had a mug cake? They're nice. The Ghirardelli ones are pretty bad. I mean, they're good in terms of flavor. But they're like 400 calories each or something. Sometimes you just gotta eat cake, right? No, a mug cake. It's cake you make in a mug. Funnily enough, mud cake is indeed a thing. And I've made it before. It's basically like fucking... Pudding. It's cake plus pudding. Nope. Oh, it finished. No, I've not made a mud cake mud 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 cake. Stop. Dude, this YouTube isn't laid out correctly. I turned it on wrong when I put it back on. Oops. No one even said anything. Um Please hold. While I find my controller. Am I still audible? Okay, cool. I unplugged the right thing. Um, okay, let's do this. I'm booting up. Whoa, it's full screen. Ugh. Alt enter? Is that it? Alt backspace? No. Alright, everyone hold on. I can figure this out. Option, maybe. Display setting? Screen mode. Windowed. I'm in. Yup, there we go. Is that loud? It's loud for me. This ratio could be a little bit better, the resolution. I'm not going to fuck with it, though. Add. Window capture. Blaz blue. There it is. Maybe like that. Now I gotta do some pad configurations. Um, is it not recognizing my pad? It's not reading anything. This is cr this is uh this is CT uh calamity trigger. It's not reading any inputs. This might take some wiggling. Let me try using the Steam support, like the Steam big picture, because sometimes that works. Turn you turn on USB. Generic gamepad support. 
Oh, are you kidding me? It didn't save that I don't want. Why not? Display settings. Windowed. And now it's actually reading my pad inputs. Um. Oh shit. Uh, what do I like? That's probably fine. Where the fuck? It's trial mode. What the fuck is it? Where does it live? Did CT not have a... Oh, look at that tiny roster. Did CT not have a trial mode? Did they introduce that with CS? I'm Ragna. Can I not cancel C into towards A? I swear he can do that in the current game. What the fuck is... My core circle back C isn't there. What the fuck? <laughs> how, does the, how does CT work? Oh, fuck. Alright, time out. I need to make sure that there even is a trial mode in this game at all. I thought it did. You're fucking me. Oh, I did I just install this for no reason? Not like this. I mean, I would be. Every time I search Calamity Trigger like trial, I'm just getting a whole bunch of results for the trophy called 200 Trials where you have to beat 200 people online. It looks like this game doesn't have a fucking trial mode. Training versus arcade. I know it's not on screen right now. Story. Score attack. It's not hiding in score attack, is it? No, it doesn't appear to be. I forgot um, U13 was in this game. God, CT might actually be dookie. Alright, that's a day one uninstall for me. What's the next one? CS? Can you shift? I've got Central Fiction, Chrono Phantasma Extend, Continuum Shift Extend, Cross Tag Battle and Calamity Trigger. I think Continuum Shift is the next one.
All right, time to wait for another download. If I play them out of order, it's not like it matters. Eleven gigs for Chrono Phantasma. Central Fiction says, yeah, 50. I want to do the trials. The trials change every game. I'm not trying to play a human. It is 7% done. I want to do them all. I want to do every trial. All right, please casually enjoy this um, YouTube video while we wait. I didn't know Skull Girls had trials. What the fuck? No one told me. My lunch is yogurt and cake. Living the life right now. Anyone ever play Cabal Online? I was thinking to myself yesterday, I was like, I haven't fucking thought about that game in ages, but I used to play that in high school. I wonder what it's like now, quote me. So I went back to play it. I man, it's bad. I forgot that game is garbage. Kind of weird that I didn't stream it, actually. Hello. Every time I read that name, I want to play some PSO. My highest level character in PSO is now 187. That's not too far away from level 200. It's over halfway. <laughs> I'm over halfway to level 200. You also get the fastest training. Like, the fastest... like The rate that you can get experience is the fastest when you're a high level. He should have dashed through Chun-Li.
There were like four or five different Korean MMOs I played. I didn't plan for it like that. Just a lot of the games I liked happened to be Korean. Korean, FF, uh, Korean MMOs have a different feel than Japanese ones. I should play Black Desert Online. I hear that one free to play, right? I played Dragon Nest for the first time long after it fucking died. I had a good time playing it. I made an archer. It was actually quite good. I was impressed. The worst pop. The worst pop in. I don't know what you mean. I love the idea of an MMO so much, but every MMO is shit. I know the MMO for me. It's fucking Dragon's Dogma Online, but we never got it. So stupid. Just give me DD2 and I'll 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 accept it. PSO2 is also fine. I'll take that. Hi, Max. How far am I in this uh, download? Pretty far. What's the amount? I want the number. 62%. It's getting there. My friends all try and sell um, Guild Wars to me. It's probably good. One of my friends was like, let's play some MMO together. I forget what it was. It was Exile. Does anyone know about Exile? Is it good? Is it an MMO? I don't even know if it is. I only play Kuso. So if it's Kuso, I'd probably like it. Cool with an H. That's pretty cool. Okay, it might have been Path of Exile. I don't remember now. It had Exile in the name. That dash. Can't believe Makoto still made it under Ibuki when she was that low in her towards medium kick. Spear grids are alright. Diablo is also alright. There are just so many games. Does anyone else feel that? I feel like even though I play all the time, I'll never play all the good games. Who's going to buy my game? No one. Are 
I think most people have trouble playing more than one fighting game at a time. We can't all be Sako. Or Kazunoko. Be a more modern example. Kazunoko is more modern than Sako. Heard it from me first. That's a hot mess. It's big. Yeah, Chris G. That's an example. Chris G plays every game. Doesn't Chris G play Third Strike? Doesn't Chris G play Sean in Third Strike? I forget the characters he plays, but they're like big memes. They're like characters that would only work if your opponent had no exposure to them. There actually aren't that many of those in Third Strike. Sean and 12 are like the two. Oh, wow, the whiff punish. Oh. That was not a whiff punish. I could it was still active. Hi. Got a 3S board. Lucky, lucky. Don't they make, like, little fucking machines that you can just put arcade boards into? Like, little CPS3 machines you can hook up to a TV? I've never really looked into that. But it still gives you the authentic um, cab experience, I think. Well, it depends on how much you care about it actually being a cab. But it gives you the authentic game. Yang. I've definitely seen him play Yang. Oh, it finished. Alright, fuck this. Time out. Let me hashtag boot that shit up. It might go full screen. It did. Whoa, it made some noises at me. Oh no, it takes two megabytes to create a save file. I don't care. Um, option, display settings, windowed. All right, I'm in there. This time, hopefully, the game does in fact have trials. <coughs> but we're about to find out the hard way. Uh, keyboard one. I don't care about keyboard. How do I change it? There we go. Whoa, I unbound it. Looks like it's already all right. Watch me keep taunt bound. My controller has no right stick. Challenge. Play set your character. Jesus Christ, that voice. All right, who do we have in this game? We've got Hazama, we've got Lambda, Tager, Lychee, Kaukaka, Noel, Makoto Platinum, Falcon Hain, Ragnia, Jin, Relius, Rachel, Carl, Arachne, Bang, Hakumen, Subaki. Was she not in the original? I forgot. Let's do Ragnia. Ragna da Blood Edge. 15, that's not very many. Three, two, one. Why do I need a count off? Okay, there we go, that's that. By this. Oh yeah, it feels good. What the fuck? We don't got no quarter circle back. D. Oh my god. This is a new 
That is quarter circle back D. How do I do my jumping fucking... How do I do my jumping scythe attack? It's gone, doesn't exist. Hell's Fang, additional attack. That wasn't it. There, I figured it out. Excellent. Why is it doing this weird count off? Gauntlet Hades spin kick. I figured it out. I'm back for more. Excellent. Three, two, one. Action. All right, what we got? Dead spike. I feel like that's a super obvious move. Is it this? No. I'm back for more. Whenever you're ready. Dead spike. Figured it out. Excellent. Isn't it like Johnny Young Bosch or something? Two, Who the fuck is it? <laughs> I don't know if I can believe that's Johnny Young Bosch. Ground C Inferno offered to him. Oh. Oh, that's not it. Gotcha. Um. What else do I have? Belial Edge. Is that one of my supers? Oops. What the fuck is the motion? Oh, I was doing Carnage Scissors, and also it's not one of my supers. It's this thing. Three, two, one, action! Not over yet. I knew. You're too weak to stand in front of me. Challenge career. Challenge career. This is extend. Three, two, one, action! Carnage scissors. Whenever you're ready. Carnage scissors. This is a Three, two, one, action. Blood cane. Blood cane. Easy. Excellent. Three, it's two, an install. One, I didn't know it was an install. Action. Devoured by darkness. Darkness can save you. This is a new well. Excellent. Three, two, one, action! Oh, I got my, my, my big. I don't know the command for this one. Black onslaught. This one like, actually kills the opponent. Sends them into the fucking nightmare zone. X zones them. Pretty go. Oh yeah, we got combos. How do I change the combo notation? Okay, I did it. This is an ukemi. What a harsh. You're too weak to stand in front of me. Challenge clear. Why do we have to watch these long things every fucking time I do a new trial? Three, two, one, action. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got to watch the fucking time over screen. Time over poses. And then have the challenge clear, and then menu. And then do 3 2 1 to go from trial to trial. Slow. Oh, it's fucked. I'm used to CF frog now. Oh yeah. Air combos. Anti-air combos. That's like B and B off the towards A, right? Maybe. Challenge clear. This is so much slower and more boring than I thought it would be. I wanted like hard trials. 
you got a dash. It's be easier in the corner. Or will it? Is that actually a dash cancel? Yeah, it is. That seems real simple. And yet I don't really know the time. Punch him, Raga. Seems real simple. How do I demo? That looks pretty simple. Matter of time. Ah! DP. Gotcha. Challenge clear. Maybe I'll just do some of the harder trials with every character. The other head. Forgot all about this. Let me see it. Pretty much the same nonsense. Whoa. 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 Whenever you're ready. Okay. That's where you were. That's where you were. I'm back for more. Talking this speed. I'm back for more. Talking this speed. I'm not yellow or drive. But can you hurry it up? Could this be? I'm back for more. Help! I had it. This is not a super hard combo. That'll dash towards A. It's freaking me out. It's over. I don't know if I can do Arachne at all. Rachel, maybe. Gotcha. Easy. First try. You're too weak to stand in front of me. Challenge clear. I like how edgy Ragnar is, but he's not even the fucking edgiest character by a long shot in this fucking game. Super jump cancel. That's weird. You could just jump cancel that now. Or no, am I landing? I think I am landing. Yeah, I am. And then I super jump, and then I do... Well, let's take a look at it. Uh, there. I hate these. The edgiest? 
Jin is a little edgy whenever he's around Ragna. Um, whenever you're ready. The actual edgiest character is probably uh, Teremi, who is like edge incarnate. Hawkman is a different kind of edgy. Sorry, but can you hurry it up? Hazama, yeah, same guy. Hazama's not edgy. Hazama's actual true form is edgy. Relius is a little bit edgy. Well, he's not edgy, but like he's edgy in actions, but not in personality. My super jump. He doesn't like my super jump. Getting too early. Come on, game. That's way too early. You need to like let him fall a bit. Not a lot. Feels like you have a little bit more freedom with this in modern game. Why not? Why doesn't it like it? I don't understand why it doesn't like my super jump. I did one. My guess is that you just have to do the down, like, after you regain control. I'm doing it before I regain control. But I actually need to get sufficient height here. Because I need to get that uh, quarter circle back C to connect to a very specific height. Oh, that was it. Alright, I just have to do it later. This is hard. But not for any good reason. You know what I mean? Whoa, I did spoken. How do people play this game? That's the combo I need to do once I actually get the jump. Ah! Stop that speaking. I'm getting it now. But I'm just airing in the other direction, so I'm not really closer. This is precise. And then once I get that, I gotta get this. Which it's really easy to get that. Call it Hades. Oh, my micro dash. Oh no, this is going to be a nightmare. Am I ever going to get it? Don't tell me the dream is dead with Ragnar already. I hate this. You can't buffer the jump. I got the wrong hit. You have to land before you get the final hit or something. I never really understood how this works. Why can't you just buffer the super jump? 
Why can't you? I don't want to spend forever on this. It's not like I really expected to do everyone's trial. Oh wait. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I had it. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. That's That just means I'm going to get it this time. I know how this shit works. Anytime I almost get it, I, I actually get it like two seconds later. Damn, that was it though. It like surprised me. I did the motion with C for the super instead of D. That hurts. I've got to do it. I was about to quit. I'm still about to quit. You're all gonna do the jump. I need your cooperation. I got this is a well. Hi. What a harsh. You're too weak to stand in front of me. Challenge clear. Stressful. Whenever you get the trial, whenever you get past the initial Three, part, it's two, like, oh, I make one. it go. Action. Go towards B. Sorry, but can you hurry it up? Um, my classes are late. No, they're not cancelled yet, though. This looks pretty easy. But I don't know if it's actually going to end up being easy. I might have a micro dash. I don't know what I did wrong there. It's a super jump. It has to be a super jump. What causes that dead spike to work or not work? Oh, did that all wrong. This looks pretty simple. There's no dash there. Um, jumping too early. Guard bar stocks. Are those these guys? I don't know if you guys can see my mouse. I don't remember how a lot of the fucking systems worked. Whoa! I forgot this whole fucking portion was here. Back for more. Not fast enough, probably. Alright, how does he jump? Are they neutral jumps? I honestly couldn't tell if they were neutral jumps or not. Sorry, but can you hurry it up? <laughs> I got him. If you had to micro dash before that sand D near the end, I would be toast. I would never get it. Three, two, one, action! 
Do you mean 50 heat? Let me see it. This doesn't really look harder than the other. Oh, that's the pain. Oh no, no, this one's not happening. Let's try someone else. Why does it scare you like that? It's like, oh yeah, it's all gonna go away. Let's try Jean. Let's hit some some ice cars. Makoto's a bitch. I'll do Makoto dead last. Kagutsuchi. Three, two, one, action! This is how to play Jin. I actually don't have rapid, so I can't rapid. Calls you an insect. Rude. Three, two, one, action. Whoa, that wasn't part of it. Ice card. No regrets. Challenge clear. At least I know it's gonna get hard by ten. Three, two, one, action! Pointless nice. Pointless Pointless. Oh, you wait, I forgot. It's a late cancel. Too long. Gotcha. Kind of precise. Did you know that um, Subaki was going to be the lesbian? They had plans for Noelle's friend who was a closet lesbian. And that was going to be Subaki. And then they just kind of decided, wait, Subaki is for Jin. And then they were like, new Noelle friend. And now it's Makoto. Challenge clear. Three, two, one, action. Ruya, Ruya, Ruya. Whoa. I have to get him pretty high up, I think. If I want to get it. With a super jump. Oh, you don't even have to super jump. You still have to get him pretty high. Whoa. I gotta wait. Mm, that dropped, but I'm not gonna complain. Why is Banks so silly? I like how he has very little involvement with any other character in this game, story-wise. He also has no bullshit superpowers. Although I wouldn't exactly call him a normal guy. There we go. Here's an example. No regrets. Challenge clear. Store friendship. Three, two, one. Action. Ruya. Ruya. Frost. Point. Damn Ruya. Easy. First try. Ruya. Frost. Point. Damn Ruya. 
I gotta wait? I gotta see this one. Doesn't seem that bad. I'm not gonna have fun doing it though. God, Jin. What went wrong? Uh, that was still wrong. Well, I think I hit the Saint C too early. I don't like the noises Bang makes. It only makes me want to beat him up more. Oh. How much freedom do I really have to hit that C late? Maybe I should shoot the jump. I'll super jump and see what happens. That's true. That was just a late cancel on my part. I felt it. Super jump seems to be the way. Gotcha. Clear. I remember one of the story paths mentions that he's never um he's never been sick in his life, which I find pretty funny. There we go, this is towards a rapid. We Dudley boys. Damn library! Damn library. Let me look at the whole combo. That looks pretty easy. We'll find out in a sec. Super jump. Damn library. Excuse me. Damn library. I did super jump. Then I hit everyone. Here's an example. Whoa, I did not wait. I was scared. Ah, that kind of 26 a Help. That was just me being slow. That was just really going on. Oh, I restarted. Got him. I waited so long. That was the right play. Jin's not so hard. Jin is like, if you're coming from Street Fighter, Jin's one of the easier characters, I feel. Remember how Jim was the only character in this game who could do 25% meter consumption? So his meter is divided into fourths, whereas everyone else is divided into halves. I find that pretty funny. Now everyone can spend a quarter of a secret meter on stuff like guard break. Late car. Let me see this one in action. Oh, it's too hippy. Oh, I hate that. It doesn't look like it's going to be that hard, but I hate it. I gotta roll that in the other direction. God fuck. 
Oh, fuck. That was it. Jin. BB tag? This is just BB. I did that right. Whoa, I did the wrong ice car. This is impossible. How can anyone do this? I'd let him fall more. Get the DP! I don't know the timing on that, but the rest of it was perfect. Oh, that was all wrong. It's a matter of time with this one. Too high. Oh, fuck, fuck. Hit every button. Damn library! Damn library. Wow, I always hit him too high. I think I have a lot more time than I think I have there. That was a bit wrong. Oh, nice car. Mm, Jim. I think that was the right height though. This motion is hell. Got him. No regrets. Insect. clear. Three, two, one. Action. Ruya, Ruya, Ruya. Oh shit, we'll see you repeatedly. They're all about that. <laughs> no, I hate these. Let me see it. I'm gonna hate doing this combo. I don't think it's that hard, I'm just gonna hate doing it. Oh, you have to mash it just enough. And then you have to micro dash. Oh, this is gonna be hell. Oh my god. I literally will never ever get this. Ugh. I didn't dash enough though, I think. Uh, yeah, I got, you gotta do a big dash. 
Whoa, 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 that was it. That was like perfect. Okay, I think I did one extra slash so far. I think this is a doable thing. Oh. <laughs> I like the slide noise. Everyone's just fucking sliding around on the ground in this game. What were they thinking when they designed this character? I need the dash. I need a long dash for a neutral C. Oh, this is going to destroy my thumb after a bit, isn't it? It's already destroying my thumb. <laughs> I think that was it. I gasped and then I swallowed air. Ah, uh, I don't know the window. I think you have a good amount of time to get the second super. This is a super cool combo, actually. Oh, damn it, that was perfect. Help. Oh, she's so. Ah. No, I, I got the opening, I think. It's not as hard as I thought. Put it like that. Well, that wasn't right. Let me take a quick thumb cooldown. I hate mash characters. I forgot Jin had a mash move. I did that right. His idea was it to have Bang be the fucking Ah, oh, too early that time. Oh, I got him. Easy. Child's play. 
Could I actually clear Jin's trials? Is it a doable thing? Is it an attainable goal? Three, two, one, action! Let me take a look at what's all going on in this one. Oh, I hate these. I don't want to do this battle. No, I'm not even going to do this one. This one sucks. Let me look at 15. Three, two, one, action! I wasn't sure that was even a thing. I hate the DPC high connects. Those are like horrible to do. These. This shit ain't happening either. He's probably referring to Null. Which refers to a couple of the characters in this game who like work for them. I like Hakuman. Let's do a Hakuman combo. Three, two, I'm red. one, action. That's not annoying. I can hardly wait. Easy. No regrets. Don't tell me you call that fighting. Challenge clear. Three, two, one. Fundamental Action. combo routes are super cool. Whoa. Gotcha. See the characters in Hakuman's unique meter? Those are really old characters for numbers that used to be used before the common characters for numbers. Three, two, one. You still see them in like chapter titles or chapter numbers for books every now and then. But apart from that, they're like completely out of usage. Is there a micro dash there? There are no micro dashes for this character. Just gotta wait long. Nice long wait. This would be easy if I just put him in the corner. Gotcha. The character for Zero is not even like... It's weird in Japanese. They have a kanji for Zero, but it's not typically used for... Three, two, one. Anything, they usually just draw like a zero. Oh, we got a parry. We got a parry trial. That was too early. I can hardly wait. I don't know if I'm too early or too late. Help. I can hardly wait. I'm doing it too. Uh, I'm on Hockey Man. I was doing it too early. You gotta wait for him to fully land. Gotcha. Parry trials are a pain in the ass. 
Challenge clear. Pokemon is such a cool design. Gameplay too. Three, two, one, action. I can hardly wait. We got another parry trial. Jimmy, I won't lose you. Oh, this has got the mid-air dash stuff. These are kind of a pain in the ass, but they're not horrible. Oh, fuck it, I... I don't remember how to do this for shit. Alright, let me look at it. That'll help. Oh, fuck. I forgot how far apart everything is with Hakuman. I might skip this one. Just because you have to wait so long between attempts. I hate the down A, dash down A, and so many of his fucking combos have that. I can hardly wait. These are honestly really hard. This team is cool though. I can hardly wait. Those are really difficult. Very precise. You know when you just want to do the trial again, but the game makes you wait. I'll come in as a guy in a suit. Wow, spoilers! Guy just said he never followed, and then he immediately spoiled. I'll come in as Jin from the feature. I wonder if he still has ice powers. He just chooses not to use them. Almost. I feel like I'm getting kind of close. I can hardly wait. Also, the visor he's wearing doesn't have eye holes. But the little blue dots all over his body, they're blue in this color scheme. You can only see two of them right now. Those are eyes. You can see out of all of those. So theoretically, he has like 360 vision. This has been your Huckaman lore for today. How did I get that dash fucking whatever even once? I can 
hardly wait. No Satan is a playable character. I can hardly wait. She's quite good too. I can Kimmy. Kimmy. I got him. I think I got him too low though. So that's just so silly. From where this trial is, you'd think it would be real simple. I have to wait a long time before the down A, I think. That puts him higher up. It also makes it easier. So, you know. Mashing air dash doesn't help. Makes me feel better. Whoa, I hit him. I hit down B instead of down A. I have to actually find the timing of this fucking air dash. I'm not sure. I know. Alright, this is a place I've never even dropped before. Ugh. Punched. I can hardly wait. My down didn't even come out. Too late. Oof. Still hit him too low, though. I can hardly wait. How do people play this character? He has a lot of these too. Oh, come on, I need your cooperation. Be here forever. The problem is, I try to fucking slow down my, um, I try to slow down my second button. Pre I do my first button press for my forward dash too early, and then I try to just have my second one be later to get the dash at the right time, but it's like. Damn it. Um, then they're too far apart to count as a forward dash. Alright, this part's instant. Oh, sometimes he just doesn't down A. That was too low anyway. Too high, rather. If you do it too slow, it won't work. I can hardly wait. Just wait. Just wait, though. Hold on, my mom's calling me. Wait. I can 
hardly wait. Rudia! Had a nice conversation with Lola. Rudia! I'm close. Rudia! I'm super close. I feel it. Muscle memory is all coming together. Real, real close. Sometimes you just gotta fucking put down the controller for a second and pick it back up. Too late. Too late's better than too early. There's probably a way to trial mode plus this bullshit. Actually, you can't build me here. My timer is not going up, so probably there isn't. That was it. That was height looked so good. I might miss my jump C. You have quite a lot of time to do it, I think. Well, not a lot. But Aaron on the side of being too early is fucking me up a lot more than Aaron on the side of too late would be. Ah. That probably was it. When does the fucking recover? Just, just pull your sword back, Kakamin, so I can swing it again. My dash was perfect there. My actually, my down A was perfect. I don't want to talk about things that were actually perfect. My down A was like as good as it's ever been there. This is teaching me the patience required to be a good Hawkman player. Hawkman's meter is actually the most busted meter in the whole game. For one thing, it's constantly building. And for another, it actually helps him more than like anyone else's meter helps them. You get like huge damage returns. But the problem is, you have to be really smart about going for the right combo. And also, most of his combos are fucking hard. I want to see it just happen again. Let's look at the demo. I can hardly wait. Some characters feel so cancerous to play in this game. And some feel so good. Fucking some mix. I can hardly wait. I did that right. God damn it! Just get me the C, I'm too early every single time. 
Just give it to me. I do it so late, I feel. I'm always so surprised to even be there. Oh, I did it. He was super low. Oh, that part's instant. Let's not fuck this all up. If I got him high enough, that the timing would be good, I think. That was maybe good. Oof. I'm getting close. Matter of time until I get it. I think I was still a little bit too high. It's hard. Damn. This is already longer than I would spend in any trial in SF4. It's more just the waiting between each attempt that makes it awful. Although, ooh, that was perfect. Although I do admit, um, how rarely counters come. And then having a, like, strict execution requirement to capitalize off of a counter. It's pretty stressful. If I got that at the right height, I would finish the trial. That was like the right height. I've got two things that just need to align. One is me getting the first down A late enough, which is super hard. And two is me getting the jump C at all, which is not hard, but... I can't seem to find it. That one looked like it might have been good. Oh, how was that not it? That was so close. I felt like I had all the stars aligned there. That was decent. I can hardly my dashes are coming out at nicer times. How fast I can get my dash out greatly affects how low Bang is. So there's three factors at play. One is my lowness of my first down A, the earliness of my dash, and whether I'm a retard about the jump C at the end. And then it turns out I've been this whole time I've been doing super jumps. I haven't, thankfully. 
I'm trapped here in Huckman Mission 7. This is all I'm going to do before work. It's another hour of this. If I really care, I can just skip this one and go to the other one. It's not like I get anything for getting this trial. I get an endorphin relief. See, that was a late dash that caused him to be that low, even though my jump A was pretty late. It was good. It was just my dash was so late that he fell too much. If I can get my dash sooner, then I can worry about the beginning part of this combo a little bit less. That was maybe almost it. See, that was a late dash, but a perfect everything else, I think. That was almost it. I felt it. I'm getting close. I can hardly wait. Close, close, close. I can hardly wait. This is not central fiction. That was maybe it. This is a uh, continuum shift extend. Almost, almost, almost. Just attack lower, Hulkaman. That looks so perfect. My phone is letting me know that I should wake up even though I'm not asleep. And we'll do that again in 16 minutes. I'm so close. I feel it. I was actually playing fighting games back when uh, pre exer GGs existed. I don't know how the fucking people are competitive with that shit. In general, I have no idea how people used to play competitive fighting games before, like, internet. Like, there was no net playing for fucking older Guilty Gears. That was it. I can hardly wait. Like, what the fuck were people doing? How were they playing? It's a fucking mystery. Okay, down towards A counts as a down A. I'll do that. That might give it to me a little bit faster during my dash. That's, I think that's the key. If I can get my down A faster after my dash, that should make things a lot easier. That would have been it if I got it, I'm sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, now I'm hitting him sooner. He's flying up higher. This is it. It's like a matter of time. I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. That was it. That was so it. I'm there. Just gotta get that jump C at the right time, and I win. Ugh, come on, how come in? I'm hitting him at the right height now. Got him. I got it. Oh my god. What a nightmarish trial. Time for a trial that has like 10 of those in the middle of it. Alright, how many meters? None. We got a no meter trial. Oh, we got another parry! Oh, we're fucked. Let me demo this one. We do have another one of those, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Epic jump jab twice. Nice. Did my regular jump C. It's just a regular jump? Let me see what it does. Yeah. I think I can do this. Oh, my first dash was too early and my second dash was way too late. This looks doable. Chrono, no. Continuum shift. A little too high. A little too late. Hardly wait. I did a super jump. That makes it a lot harder for no reason. I did it again. It's hard not to do a super jump there because my down C. It's not instant down A. It's like a little bit. It's waiting. I can hardly wait. That was almost it. Just my dash was bad. Not instant. Maybe it is instant. Let me try it instant. No, I'm trying to lay it and I'm getting it less. I think it is instant. <laughs> Time out. Ah, uh, I did that right. That was all my timing was right except my attack after my dash. That was also all right except for the timing after the dash. Jump. Did nothing for me. It's that. Just get that. Whoa. 
Again, it's my attack being too late after my dash. That have been perfect in my attack. A bit better. Forward, forward, and then hold down forward. Almost. I did that so badly, I feel. I can't believe I got as much of it as I did. I can hurt. That might have been it. That was like kind of close. Oh, I didn't hold down. <laughs> It's a different thing every time, isn't it? I can hardly wait. That was like all the right input. Hardly wait. Just need my forward dash. Too late of an attack after the dash. I can hardly wait. This one part is fucking me up so badly. How do Hawkman players do it? I can hardly wait. <laughs> I got it. I got the perfect height, and I was like, oh shit, oh shit, and then my button press was good too. I didn't even feel like I was that close, and then all of a sudden all the planets just aligned. No more counter trials, please. Thank god. We only got two. How hard could it be to do two? See the trial. We got more down taps? The same bullshit. It's a much easier starter though. If anything. That was it. See? Oh, that was it too. I think I can do this in just a few tries. Same last words. 